Hello, today I'm going to show you how to use the step event and the test chance action to set up a bit of a game here where our evil character on the right hand side will shoot out uh, an arrow at our character on the left hand side controlled by our up and down key at a random interval. So let's have a look and see what's happening with this game already. We have our evil object set up so when it's created it starts moving up and down at a speed of 6 and when it intersects with the boundary it reverses the vertical direction. That's pretty straightforward. So what we want is our evil object to shoot out our arrow object. Now I've already set up here when this is first created in the room that it'll start moving towards the left at a speed of 6. And also when it gets outside of the room it'll actually be destroyed. Uh, this is so GameMaker doesn't have to continually track hundreds and hundreds of arrow objects that have left the screen but are still part of the game. So what we do in our evil object here, we want to add a step event. Now the step event basically says every step of the game, our event, we can have something happen in our actions. A step in GameMaker is basically the timing device. There are 30 steps per second by default. However, you can change this. In the properties of the room, under settings, you can actually set the speed of the game. So instead of 30, you could increase this or decrease to whatever you'd like. So we want to say here, every 30, 30 times a second, we want it to perform a particular action. Now the action we want in order to randomize this is actually a test chance question under the control tab. What this does here is basically rolls a dice 30 times a second and we can choose the probability of an action occurring based on the roll of a dice. So here if we imagine um, a dice with let's say six sides, it's a bit easier to understand than a dice with two sides. We set this up and you can see here it says with a chance of one out of six perform the next action. So we have to put something in there and the action that we want to include is creating an instance of our arrow object. I'll come back to this in a second. So a dice with six sides, five of those sides say don't do anything. One of those sides says create an instance of the arrow object. That's basically what this means. So 30 times a second it's going to roll a dice. And this part here says create an instance of the arrow object. If we keep this at x equals 0 and y equals 0 it will create an arrow in the top left hand corner of the screen because we know that the top left hand corner is x equals 0 and y equals 0. But what we want to happen is we want to make it look like the arrow is coming out of the evil object. So we, to do that we take relative. So this is actually means relative to the x and y position of the object that's creating it basically, of the evil object. So let's test this. Okay that's a lot of arrows. And of course we haven't set up a collision event so nothing's going to happen with our little character here. But we've clearly got too many coming. It's far too difficult to do anything with in order to avoid them. So what we need to do here is actually decrease the chance or probability of this actually happening by increasing the number of sides on the dice. So if we change this to 100, it's only got 1 out of 100 chance 30 times a second for an arrow object to be created. So it's much more reasonable for a gameplay like this. Okay, hope you learned something new.